Hello, we meet again at Follow the Best channel. In this video just only educational purposes between Christians and Muslims. And this time Mr. Ahmed EX Muslim will give many Muslims educations the truth about Jesus Christ. Now, let's look at what Muslims said to Ahmad X Muslim so we can learn the truth from them. So enjoy watching video. Please share, comment and subscribe this channel. God bless you. All right, and let's see here. I think that's pretty much it so far. All right, let's get into our next guest, the disciple. What's like, up, man? Oh, cool. Hey, what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? Peace and blessings. Pretty good, man. Welcome, welcome. So we were asking about Tawheed. Uh, if you you wanted to say, you, I thought you said you had an answer for some of the things that were said, so you can touch on it, whatever you wanted to touch on. Yeah, on the oneness question, um, all right, can y'all hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah, we get you just good. You're, you're, you're good, yep. So, yeah, so like on the oneness question, when y'all went into the 99 names of God is, was revealed to us, um, I think it was uh, kind of butchered in the way how it was answered before. Like, for example... Wait, but pause. Um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you continue. But you're yeah. saying that the past Muslim butchered the answer to that? It could be considered that. Yeah, for sure. I would for say. Sure. Dang, dang, mm -hmm. Bob Logic. Stuff. All right, no, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, no, no, Bob's on a higher level. I don't agree. Yeah, but Bob's not the layman Muslim. Yeah, he probably isn't. That's cool. But yeah, <laughs> I think that his answer wasn't as clear as it could have been. But uh -huh. um, so you're familiar with like epithet, right? Like y'all know what epithet are. What? What's that? Uh, epithet. Yeah. So the ninety nine names are more like titles. So like if I'm the Amir of Najid or the king of Saudi Arabia, or the, you know, prince that was promised, or, you know, the king of the Andals, or whatever. This does not make me multiple people. Well, you understand there's been multiple centuries of debates and battles over this very question. So to, mm -hmm. this is actually not the case to say that they're just titles, because would you say that the uh, uncreated Quran is just a title? The uncreated Quran? Could you repeat the question again so you can hear it? Maybe the uncreated Quran was just a title. I, I heard it because I asked it. <laughs> Why don't you ask? Know? <laughs> it doesn't work to say these are just titles because it's there's been Muslim battles over this very topic. They fought each other over the relationship of Allah to his attributes. And one example of that would be the status of the Quran in terms of its eternal uh, speech of Allah, not the created Quran in time mm -hmm. and space. Yeah, you're getting uh, into you, a different you, topic now. You, you're no, talking it's about not. The no, it's not. Yeah, you are. You're talking about the Quran, and we're talking about the attributes. We're talking about the 99 names. The speech of Allah is one of his attributes. Yeah, but the speech is not a name. The That's not a name. speech is the Quran. But is that a name? It doesn't matter because it's the same position. No, we were talking about the name. We were talking about the name, though, right? Well, the, you can't the say name. that you, you can't title? say that Allah's knowledge is just a like, name. For and example, Al Rahman or Al Rahim. If you keep talking over him. him. If you keep talking over him, you're not listening. Listen better than you talk. You, you can't say that the attributes are merely names. You have to say that they have a, either a real relationship to the uh, essence of Allah or not. That's the debates within your schools. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is that attributes are not names and names are not attributes. That is my claim. Okay. But either way, whether it's names or attributes, you still have to explain the relationship of those to Allah's essence, correct? Mm -hmm. Is that not what your schools do? Absolutely. Okay, so what's the correct relationship? They are uncreated explanations or descriptions of how he manifests his power. Okay. So are they identical to him or are they distinct? There, what do you mean? Are they identical to him? This is a debate. Why, why are you this, to is a, a this is a classic debate. You, you don't know this in the, I mean, in Islam, you're, you have this debate for centuries. You're trying to, you're trying to create a separation and there's, I no didn't say separation. that separation. I just said, what's the relationship? What is the, I never said separate. You said separation. I just said, what's the relationship of Allah to his attributes? It's a classic debate in Islam. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, is, is Allah identical to his mercy? For example. Yes, but is not limited to his mercy. Mm -hmm. So he's not identical. Does that make sense? 
Well, if he's identical said, to it. I said, I answered yes, but not limited to. Then he can't be is identical. I mean, you know what the law of identity is? A equals A? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm so he can't be identical to it if he's not limited to it, because that okay, would be identical. I, let me use a separate question to perhaps shed some clarity to this. Are you identical to the 206 bones within your body? Does all I have parts? I'm not asking that. I asked you a question. Are you well, identical? Well, your analogy is not going to work because uh, well, 42, for, uh, Quran 42. I want to I I set a baseline of understanding here. I'm not. But it's not going to work. This. It's not going to work because there's I'm no analogies to, to Allah. Do you think there's analogies to Allah? No, I'm trying to understand your logical thinking and process here. Well, if it's not related to the yeah. attributes question, how's it going? How's that going to work? Well, I want to understand how you understand the identity principle. The law of identity is A equals A. Right. So are you identical to the 206 bones within your body? No, I'm not identical to any specific you, uh, you are not identical to your heart? To parts. No, I'm not identical to parts. Not uh, okay, to your mind or your consciousness. Would you say you're identical to your soul? I'm not identical to any part of me, no. So you think all these things are parts of you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> body is a part. Bones are parts. Yeah. Okay, sure. I, okay, I, I get. Does I get Allah the understanding. I get the logic. Does Allah have parts? No. Okay, so how does that analogy relate to Allah at all? I w it doesn't. I was trying okay. to understand with your principle of the identity, like okay, uh, well, why are you asking about logic okay. of identity? So again, in yeah, classical logic, Aristotelian logic, the law of identity mm -hmm. is just a equals a. A dog yes. equals a dog. So it's it's mm -hmm. strict, right? Mm -hmm. So to say that Allah is his attributes and then to turn around and say, but he's also not because he's not limited to them would not fall under identity. So they can't be, he's not identical in that definition. Who said that? Who said that? In your definition, you said not limited to. Mm -hmm. But is that equal to? I didn't say equal to. You Parts. said not limited. I didn't use any of this language. You did. You said he's identical to, but not limited to. Yes. I didn't say equal to or parts. Okay, well, equal that is identical to. So what do you mean? Not necessarily. Oh, then it's not identical. Okay. Well, you, it's very interesting what you're trying to do here. That's that's a uh, but. You, you realize you know, I'm just repeating. You realize I'm just repeating the debates in the first few centuries of Islam. I didn't make this up. Mm -hmm. Did you did you know that they had these debates in the first few centuries? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, I haven't so read what's all the, right of the commentary or all so what's the, the right position. So which one's the right position? Because I thought Tawhid um, was simple, right? I thought Tawhid was simple, even though people for centuries fighting over this. What, what's the right uh, Tawhid? The right position? position is God is one. That's the right <laughs> position. Yeah, but you understand all the people that fought over this believe that. Mm -hmm. So what's the right account of that oneness? Any definition... Of oneness does not that does not equal to separation or division that would equal into multiple. That would be the correct understanding. So okay. if you have a definition that eventually leads you into believing that there are multiple, that, that would be an incorrect definition. Okay, but you if understand you that like definition many, that okay, you understand like Jay. Okay, but like many of the people out here debating, like, J are you saying that Jake and Daniel, that they're anthropomorphic heretics? Because they think that there's really distinct parts of Allah. Well, having distinct parts doesn't mean you're anthropomorphizing something. You would have really? to anthropomorphize the idea of the distinct parts. Okay, so a hand, example, is not, a hand is not anthropomorphic. Exactly. Like a clock <laughs> does, a clock has hands. Do you think of them as Clocks having fingers. Does Allah's hand bear any resemblance to a human? Nails? Does Allah's hand bear any resemblance to a human hand? We don't know. Oh, okay. we don't know. So just like a and clock's it, hand is different than it, a human it hand, would, Allah's hand is different than a human's hand. <laughs> it would be safe to say we don't know, because <laughs> in order to begin to imagine. You know, or okay. compare. You know, so, can I appeal to I don't know at any point, or would you call me out on that when I say I don't know? I don't know. Yeah, you. Of course, you can. Of course. Oh, okay. Of course, okay. you can. So, so, just to be clear, we don't know if Allah's hand resembles our hands. We don't know that. 
We don't know if they if it if his hands do resemble our hands or not. Yes, we don't know. So well, he, his hands could resemble our hands. We just don't know. We just don't know. By the Correct. way, uh, I don't know if he's a Sunni Muslim. If you're a Sunni Muslim, I beg to differ. Are you Sunni? Sunni? Yes. Well, no. Then your hadith say that Adam was made in the surah of Allah and mm -hmm. made after his shape. So we do know because Allah and Adam are actually clones according to your tradition. That's in your Sahih traditions. It says that Adam was created. I should give it to you. Adam mm -hmm. was created in the shape of Allah with his height of 60 cubits. So we do know because Adam was Allah's clone. You're saying that no, you're Adam. Hadith. Me. No, I'm 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 oh okay, I get it. So you're making the claim that the that the hadith state yep. that Adam is a clone of God. You better That's believe it. I'm gonna show it to you, right? Could now. you could you present yeah. that uh, evidence with please? pleasure? Hold on, I'm gonna show it to you. So with Thank you. Pleasure. All right, with pleasure. Let me just get it. Yeah, so it says created. I got it. Mushra, the great the mushrik part one, right? Sai Bukhari 6227. No, 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 no. You can't go there because that one they try to explain away. No. Mm. Because they'll say oh, well, well no. I, I would like to hear both sides of the explanation. Yeah, like, I'd like to hear your explanation. Al -Hur and I'd like, to, and I, I'd like to read the tafsir. Okay. Al -Hur Al -Hur. Uh, that's why I'm already three steps ahead of you. I'm going to give you the tafsir. But this brother here, he's too excited. Mm -hmm. He wants to go Bukhari because I know what the Muslims do with tap dance. But when I give him the article, he's going to quote to you what the Salafi say. That the surah that Adam was created in is Allah surah. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. why every take it easy, man. I know you're in love, bro, but chill, bro. Open up that article. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to see. So, yes, we do know Allah, Allah and Adam are identical because Adam was created after the surah of Allah with his height of 60 cubits. So that means Adam was 90 feet tall, according to your sound narrations. Which means that if he's created after the shape and the form of Allah, that means Allah is 90 feet tall. So here it is. He's going to open it up. Did you, did you get to the right article? Right there. Uh, go up. Should be up, I think. Just no, put in an uh, image. Oh, yeah. Go down. I'm sorry. It says, forgive me, brother. Sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Right there. Read for us. Start reading. Just read several. Right there. Read. All right. Cool. Uh, hammam related from Abu Hurairah. Wait, wait, language, you know what hammam means? Hammam, no, what does it my mean? language is Syrian. You know what it means, by the way, Avery. What does it mean? It means toilet, but go ahead. Okay, that the prophet said, Allah created Adam on his form and his height was 60 cubits. When he created him, he said, Go and you want me to read the whole thing? Oh, I mean, if he wants you to read all thing because it's that cute, because then you're going to read what. The Salafi scholars say, because the Hadith says, Adam was created after the Surah of Ar-Rahman. Mm -hmm. So we'll read the next one. That was Bukhari. Okay, now read this one. Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger saying, Allah, the exalted and glorious, created Adam in his own image and his length. With his length. Mm -hmm. With his length of 60 cubits. Okay. And now, as he created him, he, yep. Now, lest he said, no, it doesn't mean Allah created Adam in Allah's height. Scroll down, see what the Salafi scholars say. See, because you see where it says, just in case a Muslim tries to deny. You see that part? Yeah, just in case a now, Muslim tries to deny. the entirety, because this is from Islam, question and answer, prominent Salafi website. Read what it says. Ibn Abi Asim, narrated al-Sunnah. You want me to read the Arabic terms? You want to read it? Go I got it. That Ibn Umar said, the messenger of Allah said, do not say, may Allah deform your face. Uh, a form of cursing in Arabic. For the son of Adam was created in the image of the most merciful. Sheikh Abd Allah ibn Gudigudin Yamin said, <laughs> This hadith is Sahih. Sahih. Mm -hmm. So Adam was created in the image of the merciful. Okay, keep mm -hmm. on. And was classed as such by the Imams and by Imam Ahmed and Ishaq ibn, ibn Rashawai. All right, go ahead. Those who classed it as Daif have no evidence except for the view of the of, Ibn Husayma, yeah. Uh, but those who classed it as Sahih are more knowledgeable than him. That's so funny. we can't say it's Daif, it's Sahih, but it's gonna get worse. Keep reading. Next one. All right, Ibn Abi Asim also narrated that Abu Huraira said, The messenger of Allah said, When any of you fights, let him avoid the face. For Allah created Adam in his in the image of his face. 
Sheikh Al Albani said it's it's not a Sahih. Now read what it says right after that. These two hadith indicate that the pronoun in the phrase in his image refers to Allah. May He be glorified. From these hadith, we learn that it is proven that Allah has an image, surah in Arabic, in a manner that befits Him. May He be glorified and exalted. His image is one of his attributes, which one cannot be likened. Huh? Yeah. One yeah. Is sifat, which we were yeah. talking about right now. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which cannot be likened to the attributes of created beings, just as his essence cannot be likened to their essence. And he, Ibn Taymiyyah. I notice who it is, uh, J. Ibn Taymiyyah. Mm -hmm. Of what he says. There was no dispute among the Salaf of the first three generations that the pronoun in the Hadith refers to Allah. And it is narrated through many Isnads from many of the Sahaba. The context of the Hadith all indicate that. When al Jahmiya became widespread in the third century age, a group, go ahead, start from a group. A group began to say that the pronoun refers to something other than Allah. And this was transmitted from a group of scholars who are known to have knowledge and to follow the Sunnah in most of their affairs, such as Abu Thawr, Ibn Khuzayma, Abu Sheikh, Asfahani, and others. Hence, they were denounced by the Imams of Islam, other Sunni Sahara. Now, look how they conclude. What do they conclude? The Prophet's words, Adam was created in his image means that Allah created Adam in his image, for he has a face, an eye, a hand, and a foot, and Adam had a face, mm -hmm. an eye, a hand, and a foot. Mm -hmm. But that does not mean that these things are exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to get there. there now, is... I think we, 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 got, we got it, right? Because yeah. it confirms the view of Ahl al-Sunnah wa Jama'ah. Now, yeah, click yeah, on... Wait, before you... Before you continue, just to be clear for my sake, so both of these paragraphs were both from Ibn Taymiyyah? Right yeah, here? because it says C Shar. Now, can I make one point too before you go on? Yes. To the earlier point that I was talking about with the early Muslims and their wars and their battles, mm -hmm. modern Muslims are still writing and critiquing and calling this position idolatry and anthropomorphic heresy. Mm. So, yeah, it is. I agree. No. No, wait a minute. I so you're, now you're saying they're all, all wait, hold on. So Jake and Daniel and all those people are idolaters? A link. No, I, I think that just because there's a um a comment that says that you know God has a hand or a foot or an eye. Avery. You can't question. anthropomorphize these things. The question thing where it says what, what do these uh, hadiths yeah. do? What do you mean? What do they right, do? Guys, hold on. I mean, just on, click on the link. It clearly, it clearly says website. that just because something may have been, you know, a hand in a hand or a foot in a foot does not mean that these things share likeness in any form. That's clearly said. Okay. Well, Jake, so, can so the actual measurements, like it actually gave you a measurement. Yeah. Do you think God has a measurement? Jake, yeah. can I interject? Did you read yeah. the hadith? It said that you Allah you created believe God Adam. has a measurement. Okay. No, your hadith says that, not me. Yes. Did you hear the hadith? Hold on. It said Allah created. Adam. No, it doesn't say Allah's God has a does. measurement. It, yes, yeah, it, it does. does. That. Yes, it, it says does. That Adam well, had it, measurements. No, it doesn't. Oh, it said Allah. It literally Allah. says, "Go up." His Go image up. was created sixty cubits. No, it says <laughs> after his height. Yes. It's In Allah's Allah height. Length no, of 60 it's Adam's. Okay. Yes, it is. It's Allah's it's height based Adam's. on it's it's Adam's height based on Allah's. That's the way it's Adam's is. height. No, not Allah God's created Adam height. in his form and his height. We just read that it's the form of Allah. What are you not seeing? You can do this very simply what by adding that? a simple comma, right? You like think about this. God created Adam, and his height was. 60 cubits. That's not we what it speak says. English. What we is English, right, right there? We what all speak English, English here? Who are you? Right. I, well, that's exactly what it says. No, it what are you? I don't that's want to be what it says. Each other. Who are you? Let's stop talking over each other. Let's take it step by step because you're tap dancing. When it says Allah created really? Adam on his form, whose form? 
Adam's form. You lie. Go read the hadith again. Go down. See, you just Allah created Adam on Adam's form. That makes no sense. Read the source again, because see, yeah. I knew he's going to do this. Go back down, down to the for there. No, it says the form of Ar Rahman here. For the Son of Man was created in the image of the Most Merciful. What did you forget when was, we just spent you, five you minutes asked me, You asked me about form, not image. This says it's the, the image of the right Most Merciful. This is the image of the most merciful. It's a translation of the and Arabic you surah. Form. <laughs> you form and image are it's not the same word. Word. Image and form are the English translations of the same word. Surah. It's the same. Okay, word. where's the Arabic? Okay, open up the Arabic for can, a little can, bit. Can, can any of us read Arabic? Can any of us read Arabic? Can you read it? I'm telling you what they just said. It's the word surah being translated image and form. Let's stop the tap dance. I can I can sort of read Arabic slowly, I'll but it up and read it for him. I mean, can any of you read Arabic? What up? Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you, Jay, because I knew he was going to do that. That's why I went I, it always just comes down to this. It's like, oh, but you can't read Arabic. Oh, uh, I thought no, this was the religion for the whole world. But... No, I'm not. I'm not a Arabic scholar myself. I'm not a linguistics. Uh, I'm not any of those things myself. Like I said, I can slowly read Arabic. I mean, it would take a while. I would have to translate it very slowly. The point was, your sources just said, the word form and image in English is the Arabic word surah. It's right there. And the pronouns refer back to Allah. Allah made mm -hmm. Adam in his form, image, and his height. Mm -hmm. So Allah's height, he has a height. And Adam was created in the likeness of that height. So let's get to the point. Yes, Adam was created from dust. That's the only difference. Allah's not from dust. That's where the difference is, but their height and form is identical. One is from dust, mud, the other isn't. So we just gave you the evidence. Answer now, Jay. How is it your God is 90 feet and he has body parts that are identical to Adam with only one difference? Adam is made from mud, Allah is not. That's the only difference. Now answer this question. You're making, Jay. You're making um, assertions to the Hadith. Like you're saying, your own people, your own people kill each other over this. You you understand that? You're making assertions. I'm making assertions when your own schools fight each other over this very point. I don't think they fight over what uh, brother Sam said. I don't think they this fight whole over book that. is about anthropomorphic heresy. Right. Mm hmm. So they don't fight over this. I never said they didn't. You just said they don't fight over this. I said I don't think they fight over what Sam was talking about. I don't think they Sam is talking about the anthropomorphic heresy. What do you mean? Yes, they fight over this. Yes, go ahead. Okay, sure. Let's go with they fight over it. Let's go with that. What does that prove? It proves that some people don't understand and some people do. Well, that's why I it asked you. It proves that anyway. some people that. can have a misinterpretation and some people have a proper interpretation. Okay, so what's that's the right interpretation? Proves. That's what we've been asking. Maybe you should ask a Sheikh, like not a, not like a. Okay. Live stream I mean, I've debated, I've debated Sheikh Azrar. I listen to his. I mean, my, my my idea is like again, I'm not afraid to say I don't know something or I don't have a full understanding of something. I'm not afraid to to say that. But as far as this goes, I think it's very clear. I do not see this as being an issue as far as the core principle of Tawheed. I don't understand how. Hey, well, you can say it's not an issue, but that doesn't explain how it reconciles what we read. Well, people have twisted understandings. People can have a twisted understanding. No, when we they can cite your people, is, we're twisting citing your people. Is that what you're saying? I never said that you were twisting it. I never said that you were twisting it specifically. I said that certain people can have a twisted understanding or they can see interpretations of a understanding that may not be there, right? They can. That's very common. It's, how many heresies are there in Christianity? There are plenty of heresies in christianity that yeah, but i didn't argue that problem. i didn't argue i didn't that wasn't my that's a straw man i didn't argue no, that so, Islam I mean, i'm not saying that i'm not saying that you know you're saying that, oh well you know that this is impossible i'm not even trying to build it no, i was just, just correcting the point when you earlier said that it's not an issue in islam it is that's my point i'm not saying that that makes christianity true i'm saying that you said that it wasn't an issue that they fight over it absolutely is okay sure i can see this point all right, good. We brought like you. you and by the way, Al Hawariyun, you're the one who came here said the guy did a poor job. You're going to do a better job, but you ended up in mm -hmm. the same dilemma as the other guy. 
Okay, it happens. Okay, that's but it. That was it. I didn't end up in the same dilemma in the 99 questions, though. I did not. <laughs> I mean, the 99 names, I didn't end up in Well, we just saw that, according to what we read, the this is also an attribute. And you said that this isn't an attribute. It doesn't relate to this question. It did say it's an he attribute. That his image is an attribute. I agree. His image is an attribute. Okay, but that doesn't like matter appearance, at all. The appearance huh. will be an attribute, of course. Now, what does appearance mean? It more than likely does not mean what we think it means. All right, so okay. Like so the answer to the reconciliation of one and many is we don't know. That was your answer. We don't know. We don't know what. What do you? What that do you was remember? your answer yeah, earlier about, about the question of one and many in Allah. You said we just don't know. We don't know what. Does you Allah said we mean? don't know what that what the mode of these things like shin and I and all that is. We just don't know. No, I didn't say I don't know about the uh, like how the names of God relates to God. I didn't say that. I said yes, we don't did. know. The, no, I didn't. I said we don't know what the attributes and how they. Uh, um, <laughs> that was the question. To, I, yeah, that was no, the question. The, the mode of names of God. No, Shin and all of this kind of stuff. I asked you the relationship of of that to to, to Tawhid, and you said we don't know what that means. I'm pretty sure that I said that the correct interpretation would be an interpretation that would be one that would create an idea that is not divisible, that cannot be separated, and cannot be interpreted as being multiple. I'm pretty sure that's what I said. Now, when it came to what do these things look like or, or how do these parts you know, manifest themselves, the only real answer is we don't know. We don't know this about God because it doesn't it look like, right. Doesn't it look like in what we just read a minute ago that the original early Islamic idea was that Allah had a form and body parts, and that's how Adam was made in his image. And then later Muslims saw the problems in that and they started to say, Well, we gotta like we gotta uh turn this into metaphors because this is kind of goofy to say that Allah is strictly one, but he has a hand. And I mean, you see the problem that that created and why it led to Kalam and all these other issues. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. Yeah, before, I can, you, I can... before you continue to disciple, um, uh, guys, we're only letting up Muslims in here. So, Keith, I don't think that you're a Muslim. So please stop coming in here. Um, if Christian Prince is in, I'm, I'm hearing that Christian Prince is actually in the chat. So, no, CP. No. If you want to come on up, just go ahead and hit the link. I got room for you, man. Um, I oh, made yes. room for you. So go ahead and hit that link. Because you, you got to do it quickly, though, because I got a lot of people that are that are in here that are saving, wasting space. So go is ahead. And hit, yeah, they, they, I, they said that he's here. Yeah, you said on the stream. So, yeah. So, Chris, so CP, hold on. Let me just go ahead and empty this, this, this out just for a quick second. CP, if, you, if you're here, man, go ahead and hit the link and come on in. Go ahead and hit the link. Come on in. Where, where is he? I didn't see his name. But anyway. Well, 100, 100 hit me up and said he's here in the chat. So if he's here in the chat, Christian Prince, go ahead and hit the link that's pinned so you could join. And you can pop up with us. All right. But anyway, uh, let's let's see if he uh, if he joins. Keith, Keith Scott, can you tell me if you are a Muslim? Could you keep coming in here? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and ban you. Where is that? Come on, I don't see his name. Be it as right, anyway, Continue, guys. Okay, yeah, so I do have some questions for y'all. That's okay. It's up to the Muhammad, uh, the Sheikh logic. Go ahead, what is it? Well, yeah, Jay, did you guys did you guys land? It sound it sounded like you guys kind of landed. But I mean, I don't care if he wants those questions. It's fine. Okay, yeah, go go ahead, bro. Okay, um, my question was like, uh, you're as Christians, I used to be a Christian, I'm a revert Muslim, you know, um, I did a lot of studying uh, in Christianity while I was a Christian, and I um, found some things that I don't think a lot of people know about, and I want to ask you about some of these things. Um, for example, are you familiar with um, the current contemporary state of uh christian uh, protestant doctrine and like how it came to be i am but i'm not protestant yeah okay um, okay 
Um, so maybe you would um, even agree with this then if you uh, aren't Protestant, but are you familiar with the 1599 or 1560 Geneva Bible? I am, yeah. I used to use it when I was in a Reformed church. What about it? Are you familiar with the original print of it and how it was presented? Uh, yeah, I think it doesn't have the uh, Apocrypha in it. It has uh, Apocrypha in it. It has, so. com it has commentary in it. Yeah. Okay. And explanation and exegesis uh, indistinguishable from scripture. No, the exegesis is not indistinguishable from scripture. It's indistinguishable from the scripture. That's not true. Yeah. It's absolutely indistinguishable no, from scripture. No, no reformed Christian thinks that the Geneva Bible is produced by inspired and fallible commentators, but you can put your spin on it. But get to your question. Who said that? My question was question. when you read the exegesis, that's where Christian doctrine comes from. The modern contemporary Christian explanations of every to question you want to tap dance. Get to the question. I'm asking you, do you agree? Do you agree that no. this is where it comes no. from? No, I mean I, I I was reformed. Sam used to be reformed, I'm pretty sure. We know about this. Mm -hmm. So get to the question, yeah. Okay, so why was the King James Version or the authorized King James Version of the Bible created? That's your question. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey CP, you got you to gotta mute uh, YouTube. Got to mute YouTube, CP. I had to mute your mic. I think we're good. Testing, testing. Yeah, we're good. CP, is that you? I don't know. It doesn't it look like his moniker, is it? Yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, I have double voice. Sorry. Just okay, give, 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 give me a minute. Yeah. Give me a minute. The brother said. Am I heard? Yeah, yeah but you have your mic, CP. Oh, okay, hold on. Give me a second. The brother said. So good. Okay, yeah. So he wants to know, Jay, why was the 1611 produced? Mm-hmm. I mean, I just pull up the Geneva Bible. The commentary is all in the margins. I don't understand what this argument is supposed to be. Yeah, he's to basing his argument on English translations, but it's okay. So I'm still waiting for the objection. So they had nothing better to do. They were bored out of their minds. So what's the next question? I mean, were there margins in 1560? Yeah, the copy that they that's go that goes around is actually in Old English. You can see there's I, I shared the link right there. That is the 1560 Geneva Bible in old think, english and you can see the commentary in the margins but what is this what i don't understand what this has what, what is this yeah, yeah, brother, we want to we want to finish this before the november elections get to your objection <laughs> okay okay my objection is i don't even have an objection i'm asking you a question what what, what objection so what's the other question like, what's the other so, the, so the geneva bible was used by presbyterians the followers of john calvin but that's not the extent of the reformation there's lutherans there's anglicans there's all all different flavors of reformation and william shakespeare and oliver cromwell they use the geneva bible right mm -hmm. probably right? i mean i'm sure cromwell would have what about it how, how mm -hmm. are you going to barbecue me Avery, with this guy? what about the puritans that came over to america did they have a, a geneva bible as well uh they did like the geneva bible yes mm -hmm. and what again why was the king james version authorized to be created well that was for anglicans that was the church of england so that's different mm -hmm. from geneva bible yeah, but why was it created? Yeah. For uh, English-speaking people to have a Bible in the, the dominions of uh, the British Empire. So you don't think yeah. that they had a Geneva Bible in England? Yeah, so, so, so hold on, disciples. So it sounds like you're just like inquiring, which is okay. But <clears throat> we're gonna, we're, we want some people that's maybe going to have some objections to Christianity. Um, okay, I do. Uh, I do. Yeah, yeah, my brother, Christian uh, Prince, I do. Here. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll, 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 I'll skip to it right now. Then. That's not me. Uh, uh, should I talk? Yeah, CP, do you have, do you have you can hear the background, buddy? First, uh, shalom, shalom, everybody. Peace of Christ to all of you. Yeah. And uh, I have to admit that this uh, Muslim, he defeated you all. He just, he just said, I don't, he just said, I don't know. I say he did not. He, he just said I did not say that. He just said they, yes, they fight, but they did not fight. He just everything you say to him. His Muslim is a potato. It doesn't matter what you throw at him. He play with it. It's like he, he's a, playing football. You will never get an answer from a Muslim. So you you say to him, 
is your God Allah have a hand? He will say to you, yes, he have a hand, but not like yours. But who care if it might like mine or like a camel? It is a hand. So the Muslims always, they play game. Allah is no one like him, but he forget and he get angry. And he is uh, he is learning and he don't know. And he think the sun set in murky water. And he think that the baby is coming from the backbone. And he think that women have ribs where the sperm of the women coming from. And he think that there is hail in the mountains in heaven. Allah break it and throw it at us. And he think, I mean, I can continue forever. But remember, Allah not like us because Allah is so stupid. We have to agree. Human being is a, is a smart human being, a smart creature created by God, a true God. But Allah, which is created by the pagan uh, 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 Middle Eastern, a name is exist centuries and thousands of years before Muhammad. His name is La, not Allah. He, they claim no one like him. I have to agree. And at the end of the day, you are defeated. Hmm. Awesome. So, uh, so uh, my Pete, objection my about the exegesis was that, that you are in contemporary understanding. Yeah, hold on, hold on, bro, bro, hold on, because there's an echo. CP, so, CP, there's an echo in your ear, my brother. Can you hear us? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I lower my uh, my microphone to the <laughs> maximum. Still, you say there's an echo. I can't even hear you if I lower it more. Is there is there YouTube on on any on any channel? Uh, I have it muted. Let us see. Get off the what about YouTube. now? Get off, the Get off the YouTube. I am not in YouTube. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have headphones on? A headset? No. Yeah. yeah. I'm not using it. It's okay. I'm not going to stay here, guys. I don't want to bother your, you know. I, I thank you first for inviting me. You're doing all right. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for inviting me. But uh, always my advice to Christians that Muslims, they never give an answer. Instead of giving you the answer, they ask you a question. So I ask him about Allah have a shin. He say, you know, was his shin is not like yours. But, you know, all of Islam is based on a human being figure when they speak about their God. He is, first of all, a human being, generally speaking, he is smart. We can prove in two seconds that Allah is not smart. And that destroy all the logic of anyone saying that Allah is God. Because you cannot be God and stupid. Have you ever heard of a God who thinks that a human being is created from a blood clot and the blood clot grow and became a flesh and the flesh become bones and then he closed the bones? This is how God he created a human being? Have you ever heard of a God who don't speak good Arabic? As if he is a Zakir Naik from Bangladesh saying, Brother Kutabrith, furthermore, you are wrong and you are making a mistake. And Allah did not say that. So you ask them a question about Allah. Okay, Allah, Allah is the creator. Is it possible that the creator, he say, I am the best of the creators? I mean, are you stupid in language too? You cannot say, I am the best of the creators if you are unique. And what is unique about God, that you are the creator. So how Allah the creator, he is the best of the creators. We know the story. Muhammad, he copied a guy, his name is Abdullah al-Mustarah. He put it in the Quran and that make him in big trouble. So I say to our Muslim friend here, we have creator, not the best of the creators. You have the best of the creators. So either you have to admit that your God don't speak good Arabic, as all of you, including your prophet Muhammad, or you have to admit that there's many creators. However, even your Quran says that the Messiah is creator. So we Christians, and the Quran says actually, uh, how you worship someone, he cannot even create a fly. So the Quran put the, 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 uh, the rules of who you can worship and who you cannot. So if Jesus can create a fly according to your Quran, then we should worship Jesus. This is not the Christian saying that. This is not anyone. This is chapter 22, verse 73. So anyone who can create even a fly, he is worthy of worship. So now we have a proof that Jesus, he can create not only a fly, a bird, and, and a human being, but there is no proof that Allah can create a mosquito. Because the creator, and we have a proof he cannot be, because the creator, he do not know how the mosquito created. He do not know how the baby is created. He fabricate knowledge, which is a stupid knowledge. So I say to the Muslims, you are doomed. Mm -hmm. I will leave you guys with those three wonderful guys. Thank you very much for uh, having me in the stage. And, and uh, we, we pray for all of you.
Okay, wait, okay, say wait, please, wait, please, 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 before you go. Allah Alam, Allah Alam. Okay, can you do me a favor, Allah, 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 Allah. Okay, yes. brother? Can Sorry? you, can you, you, you know the hadith about um, Allah creating Adam in His image? Remember? Yeah, yeah. Can you pull that up for us and read it in the Arabic for us? What, what is the Arabic word? Yeah, خلق, I do not need to bring it up. I know it by memory. خلق الله آدم على صورته. Allah He created Adam in His image, His own image. Mm. Yeah, the Muslim they try to fix it. They say, oh, he meant that he created uh, Adam in the image of Adam, which is the most stupid in uh, interpretation. I mean, you want to tell me that Allah, like Allah created CP in the image of CP? <laughs> I mean, do, do you see how stupid the story? Muhammad, he copied exactly what it says in the Bible, that God created Adam in his image, and in his image, God created him. So Muhammad he took it, he put it in his in you know uh, 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 in his book, and now the Muslims they try to fix it. How uh, uh, how Adam is created in the image of Allah? Mm. The only solution is to say, well, you know what? Uh, he don't mean that. He mean uh, 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 you know uh, uh, description of Adam. But he said it clearly, خلق الله آدم على صورته. And then he continues saying that he created him sixty uh, arm tall. And that make it more stupid too, because uh, uh, you know why Adam is sixty arm tall, but we are not even six foot tall. That is the most stupid uh, story Muhammad he came with. Did we shrunk? Did Allah force us to shrunk? Uh, like, is it cold? Is it because of uh, you know uh, uh, environment? Do you Muslim believe in evolution? What do you believe? So the the, the Muhammadan. They have fabrication of everything, and they try to give you an answer for any question by not answering it. And this is the this is the hadith. Let me for, uh, post it for you. You can put it on the screen, and people can see it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Can we get back to the uh, the exegesis of the fifteen ninety nine and my objection? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, bro. I wanted to pull that hadith up for uh, for real quick. <clears throat> that was cute. That was a cute little introduction to it. Yeah. Did he send you the link? Yeah. All right, put it up, buddy. I think I actually lost it. I had it before. I got your article up. What? No, he sent you a link. Didn't he send you a link? Oh, yeah, here it is. No, he didn't send a link. Oh, okay. I thought he did. Oh, yeah, he did. There it is right there. Huh. There it what? is. Shh. Look up, man. Low Alam. Low Alam. With a cave, with a cave. Yeah, that's what we just went to. This uh, Sheikh Uthman in the chat. Oh, I hope not. So I can shish kebab. Sheikh Porky Pig. Here it is, CP on the screen. Sorry, this right here, right? On the screen? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is many format of the same uh, hadith, but all of them they are saying saying that Allah created Adam His image, and there is the other one which is saying uh, uh, like uh, uh, Adam was sixty arm tall, which is very funny and very you know crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, and not only that, you know, the God of Islam in the Quran, He said that the similarity between Jesus and Adam, He said to him, "Be and He was." But then when we check. We find that neither Adam, neither Jesus, according to the Quran, created by CMB, and he was. So Allah, in fact, he made mud statues of Adam, and he left him to dry for 40 years. Mm -hmm. And Shaitan, during that time, he went inside Adam from his nose, and he came out from his anus. <laughs> and then, well, yeah, and we, can, we can show the reference. And in the top of that, and the, 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 the shaitan, he told the angels, don't be scared of him, for he is empty from inside, but for Allah is full. <laughs> so Allah is full. So shaitan, what is saying, that shaitan, he tried to go inside the anus of Allah, but he could not, because he is full. In the top of that, that Adam, who is created in heaven, took him 40 years just to create, to, to, uh, uh, to dry his, his, uh, 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 his mud to become a statue. Allah, when he, when he started breathing into Adam, uh, he breathed into him, but he could not finish him so fast. 
So it, the Quran says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا the, the human being was ever uh, uh, hasty. Uh, if you read the interpretation, even Ibn Kathir, it says that Adam, when Allah, he breathed into him, he tried, uh, 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 he tried to stand up, but he could not. So he asked Allah to finish him before the sun set. Uh, he said, Allah, oh Allah, finish me before the sun set. And then here we ask ourselves how the Quran says, he said me and he was. And then Adam in chapter 17, verse number 11 saying, uh, finish me Allah before the sunset don't ask why Adam and how Adam he knew about the sunset I mean the guy is just in the process of creation how he knew the sunset is going to set soon but Muhammad he can tell whatever story and Allah who is almighty he say be and it was he could not create one thing in the Quran and here we have Muslims there you can ask them later if he can show us any Muslim can show us one example of Allah creating anything by saying be. As you see, Adam took him centuries to finish Adam. In the case of Jesus, he had to throw his words down and then have to send uh, uh, his spirit and his spirit then breathe into Mary private part. And then nine months after we have Jesus. So where it was, it was be and it was. So all is a fabrication. The Quran cannot stand its own verses. And the Quran itself says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Wow. Okay, this is cool and all, but like, um, can we try to keep it respectful? Okay. No, he's been as respectful you know, as he is. I mean, this is a lot of like, uh, you know, Christian <laughs> princes' own interpretation. He's adding his own. He quoted Ibn Kathir and the other no, scholars. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how he chooses to describe things is disrespectful. He's using the scholars to do it and the hadith. He didn't come from his own self. He's quoting the scholars. When he says, breathe it into the private parts of... That's what you know, the verse says. The, the scholars say. That's I'm not saying, what's farjaha. in the Quran. Yes, yes it is. 66.12. Ah, sanad farjaha. Farj means her private part. Yes, it is. And the man here knows Arabic. The way so. how he is describing it, it is says disrespectful. He and he knows it's part. disrespectful. And as a Muslim, he blew I'm into you, her private part. That's what it literally says. You want me to get you a Muslim translation? We're, says not, that? we're not joking around. It's literally what it says, bro. We can show you the scholars that even break it down like that. And I have he a is, Muslim translation. It says, I'm asking for general, you know, manners. That's all. What I'm general asking. manners? You just condemned your God for being ill mannered. It's a, your God saying it. So you're saying your God Allah is ill ma mannered? All right, that's cool. Is this Sheikh Uthman? He's uh, he's asking to come up. I'm, Uthman, I'm, I'm, is, Uthman is not here. Yeah, so it's a fake. Someone who's pretending to oh, be. Let me go ahead but, and kick uh, him like out. To... Let me go ahead and kick him out because for being a fake, we don't. Yeah, he's don't a fake. Someone fake, yeah. pretending to be Uthman, like Allah pretends his to be. Real, his real his real name on was was alien something like that. Sam, that's uncalled, uncalled for. That's no, it's very called for because when have I when have I attacked? I'm not, I'm not attacking Christian you. I'm attacking position. your God and your prophet because your prophet yeah, and your but, God. But I take your personally. Attacked. This is my personal belief. Can you stop appealing to sympathy, dude, and get to your objection? Okay, sure. As long as you keep it respectful. Let me let me see if That's let me see if, let me see if Christian Prince is done first because we I you know because the the you know the mic situation. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for having me. And the Muslim is asking us to be respectful. He called us pigs. He yeah. called us monkeys. He called I us nudges. Really he called us that. kafar. The Quran called us. Don't don't, don't uh, lie. I can I can show you a reference. Don't lie. I can show you a reference. And when you speak about respect, go and teach your God how to respect Mary and don't say he breathed into her vagina. What kind of God? He is a vagina breather. You God, he is a vagina kisser. And is that how you create? Is that how you create anyone by putting your mouth in a woman's vagina? And the Muslim yes. try to translate by saying, "Oh, he breathed into her sleeves." Since when the vagina in Arabic farjaha became a sleeve? Nice to meet you, sleeve, brother. <laughs> Take what care, guys. Go, God, bless, God bless you, and thank you for having me. God bless you, please. Take care, bye bye. Okay, so what's the objection? Oh man, Christian Prince popping up in the stream. My God. That, that's that's what you want. You want to get more subscribers and more viewers, hater. Damn. Well, hey man, if we get in love like that, of Christ. Is oh man, what? My, my objection is hello, brother oh. and sister. What is going? What is happening hey, today? Uh, it's the Avengers are assembling today. Next Muslim Salafi. 
who's destroying shish kebabing Islam day and night. And you're in trouble, dude. Look what yeah. you brought. Your vibe brought this man right here. Man, you in trouble, bro. God okay. bless you, brother Sam. God bless you, God logic. God bless you, man. Good. Thanks Damn, for coming through, you brother. Trouble, yeah, brother. I saw all the beloved brothers here. I said, let me join to share with you guys. God bless you. Hey, what of course, of course. Typically, you're talking about Allah, right? Ahmed, yeah. please, stop stop having Muhammad do dingy dingy. No, we well, were talking about the 1599. I'm just reading the Muhammad the scripture. Okay, bro. And we were about to get the Christian doctrine. That's what we were about to get. Well, can, can I add one thing about the Hadith brother Christian Prince? He Please. brought it up. Yeah, brother Christian Prince, he bring Hadith, but the most important Hadith, I believe he leave it for me to bring it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you show it? I told this man, he said, oh, English, it says form image. I said, but it's the same word in Arabic. It's surah. Can you educate yes. this man? Yes, exactly. Yeah. For example, I can give you an example. For example, we can understand the word, the meaning of the word from the sentence. Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. If I said in Arabic, uh, for example, Sam, Ainuna fi America, which means Sam, our I in America. Here I, I use it, the word I, right? If I said Sam, his I is a a black i use it eye again right which means sam he has a physical eye and his eye color is a black if i said there is the eye of water in arabic Tilka min al meaning this is the well, uh, the well of water the eye here meaning well so we can understand the word from the sentence for example, when Allah said in Hadith, now I will talk about it, and I can share with you from physical book and from the Salafi scholar book, and I can share with the, uh, from Google, and we can translate it to English. By the way, before the Ahmed, Hadith said, I just want to let you know, uh, Jay, these guys are the hardest hitters against Islam. Ahmed has a channel. He's daily destroying Islam. If you ever want to bring them to your channel to help you, these are the men right here. This guy knows Arabic like the back of his hand. So I just want you Ahmed, to introduce Jay because he does a lot of debates. Yeah, it's my mother tongue. So I didn't drink milk. I drink Arabic language when I born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there is a beautiful hadith. I believe brother Christian Prince, he leave it for me for I share it with you. Guys. Yeah, he left it for you, brother. Go ahead and pour yeah, it out. Yeah. <laughs> so their hadith said Allah created Adam on most merciful image. خلق الله آدم على صورة الرحمن. Allah created Adam on most merciful image. I can share it from physical book I have, from Imam Darimi, from Imam Darakutni, from uh, Imam Ibn Batta, yep. from Imam Ibn Al Qayyim Al Jawziyah and his book answering responding the Jahmiya the heresy Muslim. So I have physical book and I can share it from here. Let me brother. Bring we actually here. I yeah. shared it from from Islam QA. We read it to him. Yeah, cool. So yeah, Allah created Adam on the most merciful image. But wait a second. Allah mm -hmm. has a two right hand, five fingers, one foot, right hand, right foot doesn't have left foot. And I debate with a lot of sheikh. Oh. Yes, God does have anthropomorphizing again. Yeah, it's like the number one Allah, jump. Allah, Allah. Yeah, can we get to the uh, fifteen ninety nine? Uh, anthropomorphize. Okay, good. Good, Ahmed. Yeah, sorry, just my kids is came to inside. <laughs> sorry, God bless your kids all. Yeah, so I'm always asking. My topic is always about Allah attribute. When we're talking about Allah attribute, there is a verse in Quran Allah said, Kullu shay'in uh, halik wa yabqa wajhu rabbika dhul jalali wal ikram. Everything will be destroyed except your Allah face. Yes. Allah face will yes. stay alone. Mm -hmm. My question is, Allah face is Allah or attribute separate from Allah? Mm. When we ask, for example, Allah has a two right leg and Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah in his book, Al-Asma'u wa sifat which means the attribute of Allah book, 
from no, Islam and that's, that's not what it, no, as, well, as means names and attributes, not just name, but not just attributes. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, names. but the attribute, name and attribute, there goes the no, book. No, you didn't name say that. Book. Book. Yeah, <laughs> shut your mouth, Islam. Guys, first language is not English. Zip it. This is a book. He said it wrong. <laughs> okay, said it wrong. Your God speaks in correct Arabic, so Why zip it. Why are you it. mad that I corrected an Arab speaker? Oh, okay. I'm mad. So <laughs> now you didn't correct me. You didn't correct me. I Ahmed, said on, attribute, but Ahmed. I didn't say name because we're talking about the attribute. We are not Ahmed. talking about the name. No, Brother, you said right? the book is called Ahmed. Ahmed. What's the no, third? It's called the attribute Ahmed. book. Can you show him that his God can't even speak Arabic? The Arabic gra- mistakes in the Quran because he's barking. yeah. We will go there, but let me oh, let me let me there. share this hadith yeah, because I want the Muslim here <laughs> to respond. I will, to I like, can we can we uh, at least get to the objections? You know, like yeah. I spent some time getting. Can I ask a question? What? So because I, I bring the verse from Quran and I, I supported the verse from Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah book, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Allah said everything will be destroyed in the day of judgment except Allah face. Cool? Allah, according to the book of Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah al-Asma wa sifat he has a two leg. One put it both leg on his chair, on the kursi, Right? And Allah, on the day of judgment, he will put one foot, according to Sahih al-Bukhari and the, the other Sahih books, he will put his foot in the hellfire, according to Surah Al-Sajda, chapter 31, 32, verse 13, Allah said, he will fill up the hellfire from the jinn and the human. Cool. We have authentic hadith. Muhammad said, the hellfire will never fill up till the Lord put his foot in it. My question is, now, Allah has a foot and has a hand and has a face and everything in the day of judgment will be destroyed except Allah face. Cool? My question is, Allah foot is Allah. Allah hand is Allah. Allah face is Allah. I just want to some Muslim to answer this question and tell me Allah like from jinn or a human because Allah said is this is this the best y'all have? This is what y'all do? Like, oh, have, he has no, a no, foot. No, he has a hand. Oh no, he has a leg. Can't it. Like, what, what? You already you already said you don't know. What are you talking yeah, about? So yeah, you can okay. refute yeah, it. So like, my question. Is, like, we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna allow we're gonna allow Islam. Islam is gonna try to de- to deal with this. So Islam seems right, like right, he, right, he's pretty he's confident. Split. So Islam's gonna be no, able to deal I'm with I'm not this. confident. I'm very scared. So I'll deal with this. Okay. I'll I'll try my best, of course. Of course. Uh yeah, so of course we're not like classical theists. We wouldn't say that we don't believe uh, here to ADS, we don't think the attributes themselves are identical to Allah's essence. But we talk about the attributes, they're simply gonna be defined by their function, right? It's called analogical predication. And so when we define the face, we're defining the face simply to mean Allah's presence, right? That's why the, when, the, when the Quran verse says uh, there'll be nothing left except his face, it's going to be saying there'll be nothing left, ex- left except his presence. So, so, so Wait, slower, I know you're scared, slower. What's, so the, what's the basis for analogy if Allah's nothing like creatures? Yeah, so when we say Laysa Kamithli Shay, right? That's how. <laughs> yeah, so when we say Laysa Kamithli Shay, right? This is, this is an issue called Qadr Mushtarik, right? We're going to make, we're going to be making a distinction be- between like similarity ontologically and conceptually. So we're going to, there's nothing that's yeah, like, similar. That, Wait, that, you asked me a question. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not done, but though. Jay, Jay, yeah, I've heard this answer before, and it's not yeah, answer. So, it doesn't I'm, do anything. I'm, 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 I'm not done. Jay, Jay, if you don't mind, can you leave him for me? God bless you, brother. Okay. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Islam. Finish. <laughs> so, should I just what he said, or like, go to, uh, I finished already, but I was finished what he said. Cool. You brought a verse from Quran, he said nothing like him, right? Yes, Laysa Kamis Lee Shay. Yep. Cool. Laysa Kamis Lee Shay. My question to you Allah is a thing or nothing? Hal huwa shay am la shay? He's a thing. Does your Allah, he is, is a, a thing. thing or nothing? He is a thing, yes. Yeah, he said he's a shay. thing. Yes. Where is this thing? What do you mean? Where is this thing? It's where is this thing? Where, like, is like. So uh, when we say thing, no where. there is no where. No, 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 no brother, no, you no, don't no, know anything no, about this. Let me talk. Yeah, to yeah, the yeah, hold on. So Please. this is we're gonna keep it between Afman and Islam. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. We're gonna let, let, let Islam go ahead and do his thing, uh, disciple. Please. So when I said thing, God bless you, God logic. When I said thing, this thing, he has a two right hand. With the ah. five fingers ah. and two right foot ah. and face. Mm. 
But this thing is unlimited or limited? Unlimited. When you're using unlimited, you mean like he's not like oh, limited by any... Congratulations, uh, you become Kafir Jahmi. What? Why? Wait. I didn't even answer yeah. the question. Let me, let me prove it. How about you have it wrapped you, you said your Allah is unlimited, which no, means no, Allah I is didn't. Actually, wait, you're wrong. I asked you by unlimited, do you mean? I didn't even say yes or no yet, my guy. No, you respond. Okay, no, one I, more time. I said, I said by thing. unlimited. Wait, I'm asking clarifying a question. I said, by unlimited, are you saying that? Uh, he doesn't have a had, meaning he can't come into creation, or do you mean unlimited? No, no, as in, when you said he's had, not say it in English for the people understanding what you're talking about. Had just means like uh, limit. Limited. Limitation. Yes, limit. yes. He has a limitation. The had refers to not being able to limitation come into creation. Limitation had. According to Shaykh al Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah, yeah. Allah, yeah. Shihi, yeah. Okay, what is the had? Do you know what that is? Limit. Do you know what that is? Okay, but do you know what that is? What does it entail, the had? Do you know what that entails? Had is limited. No, what do you, what does this entail? Because uh, the, what does okay. the had entail? Ask you a question. What does it entail? Do you let know? me show you this. This is the book. Uh, of, I, I know what it is. Okay, let me. <laughs> what does the, you what what does the had let entail? Him, let him say it though. Is let me ask. Let me answer. Shut up and stop manifesting, dude. Let me answer, Habibi. Um, Thank you. Me, Can I answer? Yeah, of course. With all the respect. Of course. Of According course. your Imam Hanbali Dashti uh, from six hundred sixty-five. After Muhammad, he responds this question in the book. The book name, guys, the proof Allah is limited on his throne. The book name, Allah is limited on a throne. And I have another book from Imam al Darmi. This is oldest. Imam al Darmi, after Muhammad, 280 years. Imam al Darmi, he responding the heresy like a, a brother here beside me. So the limited, which means the explained Imam al Darmi, he said, the limitation meaning the separate that is separate between two things, which means I am on a chair, two hand of chair, limited me on a chair. Between two hand of the chair, I am limited. Same thing, your Allah, your Imam al Darami respond and said that your Allah limited on his throne. If you said no, Allah is unlimited, which means you become heresy. Why? Because you're saying Allah is everywhere, which means Allah in a bathroom, in dirty places. <laughs> that is haram. Mm -hmm. Your Allah on his throne yes. with limit. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. They yes. think, sorry. Alhamdulillah. Yes, go ahead. So when we say that Allah has a head, that's what I was asking you, what does this entail? What's the entailments of this? al had al fasl bayna shay'ayn. Uh, I just explained okay, wait, it to you. I'll let you talk, wait. I'm talking right now. So, when we're talking about the had, the entailment of this had simply means Allah cannot come into creation. That is the had. Allah we're can't come into creation. That's what the had is. I'm, ta I'm talking. Can you stop? Creation, bro. I'm we're talking. talking about the limitation. Uh, bro, I let you but talk. About I, creation, yo, we will talk I, about. I let you talk. I don't know why I can't talk now. Yeah, but don't hey, twist it. The Avery, topic what do you got this arrogant bro. punk jerk manifesting like a girl here? Brother. Bro? Guys, we, we, we can keep it cool, man. I don't know what's going on. Let's let him land his point. Um, because we want to hear him, so let's let him. I remember talking to God Logic about this exact. I remember talking to God Logic about the exact thing like a few months ago, bro. The head, right? So all it's going to be referring to is that Allah has a head in creation, Allah cannot come into creation. That's the entailment, that's what the head is referring to. Wow, that's why I asked you beforehand. Wow, what one more the time, what is my the brother, of the head? with all due respect, my brother and humanity, one more time, you become <laughs> Jahmi Kafir. Congratulations, I became Jahmi. Why? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. <laughs> Uh, Let me tell you why. Like First of all, debate, brother, yo, can yo, I yo. respond? Yes, yes, Your yes, Allah yes, said, Allah obey yes. Allah and obey the, the messenger. Yes, another yes. verse said, another verse said, however, who disobey Allah and disobey the messenger, he will be punished in a hellfire. Jazaahu Jahannam wa bi'sal masir. Congratulations, you will be punished in the hellfire. Why? Because you rejected or denied your Prophet Muhammad authentic hadith when your prophet muhammad said allah he will come down every day a third part of the night to <laughs> lowest heaven which means lowest it is heaven little, little is it created yeah. or uncreated uh, wait what's going to create what lowest heaven is created or uncreated it was created of course created which means allah entered into mm -hmm. his creation <laughs> <laughs> so I'm talking about Nuzul. So which okay. means Allah passing uh, uh, six, yes. six, Nuzul, yes. six Nuzul. heavens. Nuzul. 
Yes, no, okay, okay. Yes. And we have another hadith from Imam yes. al-Darmi and Imam Ibn Batta and Imam <laughs> Abdullah ibn al-Imam Ahmad, the son of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, he said, mm. literally, the day of Arafah, Allah, mm. he will come down on our heaven and sitting around him all the prophets. Mm. Boom. Which means Allah has a travel, he has a safari chair. When he go anywhere, he taking his chair with him. <laughs> Stupid Allah. <laughs> okay, so he has a safari chair. I haven't blasted. Well, they, can't they, can't stop. Stop. they just can't stop doing this. this. No, no, because Sam, it's not your discussion. Don't try to feel relevant to Yahya in this conversation. Thank you. Zip it, uh, yeah, you're not, you're not in this conversation, Sam. Don't worry. No, so let's, so, so go ahead and try to give it, give it response, bro. So, so we have, so Sam, so Sam, I'll I'll can I explain something and mute my mic? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is, is Islam gonna answer you now? Um, yeah, I, I can. But Sam's and, going in then, yo. All right, so go ahead. What's, what's, what's you. your response? So first, it's referred to Nizul. Right, you're referring to Nazul saying, Oh, what's what, is, what, is, what is Nazul? I don't, I don't, for I don't the people understanding. Okay. I got you, I got you. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Nazul is referring to what he said, like the hadith, the sending of Allah. Yes, Rasul, so, no, so, 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 when Allah SWT comes down to the first heaven, ascends the first heaven, uh, I think it's every third of the night, right? That's the hadith referring to what's called Nazul. That's what the action is called, right? Now, when we talk about Nazul. Nuzul does not entail that Allah goes from one place to another, right? Because we do not affirm that Allah leaves his makan. This is the, the taimi position. The, the, oh, are the you position Salafi of, or Ashari, brother? I'm, I'm Salafi, I'm Athari. Yes. So you you Athari, Salafi, and you become Ashari, Maturi? No, I can, I, can, I, I can show you One more stands. time, I can, can you, you give stands. me a reference Wait, from any scholar? You, he said what you say. So, so if I show you scans of scholars saying that Allah does not leave his makan, what will you say? Wait, wait, just a second. We're talking about Allah descent. That yeah. his descendant is physical uh, descendant, true descending, uh -huh. true descending, or metaphorical descending. Okay, no, I didn't say that. I was about to ask what I said was physical. that when he descends, it's not moving. So I'll give you, you said Ibn Taymiyyah. Majmu'a Fatawa, Ibn Taymiyyah, volume 5, page 578. And what must definitely have affirmed is that there is nothing like Allah in any of the attributes he describes himself with. Whoever attributes to him the attribute of created beings in any aspect is certainly mistaken. For instance, if someone says that he descends and moves and transfers like a human Brother, being, can you show it? The can you this show is, it? This is Ibn Taymiyyah. Can you show it? Yeah, Majmu'a Fatawa. Because well, he rejected I'm Muhammad telling Hadith. you what it is. Majmu'a Majmu Majmu Fatawa ibn Taymiyyah, volume Because five, he rejected five, Muhammad, he against Nick, Muhammad. I'm, I'm telling you the page. When you told me, I'm telling you what yeah, it is. Show it, please. Because against Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll put it in the side chat as well. Majmu yeah, drop the link in the side chat so they can pull it yeah. up as a reference. I don't have a link. I have the scan. Majmu'a Fatawa ibn Taymiyyah, volume 5. Page 578. So basically, when Allah descends to the lowest heaven, he just blahs to the lowest heaven. No, because we don't affirm Allah leaves his makan. So what, is the, what does the word descend mean? It's referring to the, uh, getting relationally closer. It's referring to... It doesn't say relationally. It says Allah descends. So yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, so... <laughs> like, now you about, want to be a little yeah, Like, so, why do y'all... That's, that's what it said. Yeah. Well, well, fellas, 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 relax. A word to descend means to said? go lower. Yeah, so when we, like, right. are, like... Wait, yeah, let me talk. So, so which page? Yeah, yeah, let me talk. If he's going lower... Hold on, hold on. I just want to know the page number, please. I put it in the side chat. Page five seventy eight. It's in the private chat. Five seventy eight. Let me open this from my side. Okay. So to to descend means to go lower. You're saying that he doesn't descend. So it's he's he's not he's not descending. But it says he descends. So the word has no meaning. No. It's what? How does the word have what? no meaning? <laughs> because no, to descend sorry. means to go lower. No. Uh, let me help. It's basically, yeah. like, yeah. so, like yeah. Yeah, Allah does blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. in the same way, in the same way, like there are verses in biblical scripture that say things will happen forever and ever, but they still exactly. happen like a temporal matter. I was bring a does lot that of mean that too. word now has no meaning? It's now well, no, it, it just no. So in their context, you will have words like ah, a, a word context. that can be forever, yeah. but okay. meaning for a long time. See okay, that's so, we we so we, not, we so have that. You, so when you when you have this so, in when you have this in hold on just stop cutting me off before wait, I have to drop yeah. you stop cutting me off before I drop you so when you have this in okay like Muhammad yeah 
So he's yeah, just manifesting. Like, you can't what? even have a discussion. Okay, Avery, uh, let me let me tell you what the stone kisser didn't get. Uh, okay. Allah, Can I share the pitch? With yeah, before you, guys, you do that, brother, because he's manifesting. Uh, can we please not use language like that? Uh, brother, brother, Sam, your fly uh, hole, when your God is not just language, then you can talk. Now, Avery, let me just wait one point. Avery, because the guy is specially challenged. He does understand that all yeah, he's saying. He lied, brother. But he lied. Before, uh, man, let me just say something. I know you're excited, Ahmed. I'm going to shave your beard. Just take it easy. Uh, all he just said is that Allah can extend himself to the lowest heaven while still be situated on throne, but he's too stupid to realize that. You understand? That's all he proved. He didn't prove Allah didn't go down. What he means that Allah, had that 60 cubit Allah, can extend his form to reach the lowest heaven while still being on the throne. That's all he proved. But because this black stone brain damaged him, it's slow. Now go ahead, brother. Just wanted to share that. But he's too stupid to see that. <laughs> Yes, brother. He said volume five. He said volume five and page. Correct me if I'm wrong. 575? 578. 78? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, read all of it. Read all yeah. of it because he this likes is to 78. Try right. five, page 578. Cool. So here he talking about Allah descending and he brought the verse from the Quran. هل ينظرون إلا أن يأتيهم الله في ظلال من الغمام والملائكة وقضي الأمر. They are waiting to Allah come down with the angels on a cloud and everything will be down. And next verse. وجاء ربك والملك صفا صفا and your Lord came with the angel shoulder by shoulder. وأجمع على أن الله ينزل كل ليلة إلى سماء الدنيا and they saying Allah will come down every day to lowest heaven. Right, be isnadin. There is a, a narrate uh, isnad to this. And Yahya bin Mu'ayn an al-Nizul faqala naam akrabahu wa la ahdu fihi haddan. He said, Yeah, he will be close, and I didn't limit him. He will be close. So here, literally, he said, Prove it literally. Allah will be close. And my question to him now, my question: If I go now. To level 35, and you are in level one in an apartment. Who, which one is it closer to Allah, me or you? If I am in level 35, and you are in level one, which one is closer to Allah? These type of analogies don't mean anything when it in regards to God's nature because it's not the same as humanity. We can't use analogies like this. You want to talk about an apartment building? Like, oh, well, who's closer? It's like. We, you're well, then your your hadith shouldn't have used that language. Then you're, you're imagining that, that God language. has the exact same exactly. functions and limitations. It's your language, dude. It's your it's interpretation. The language of your religion. What are you talking about? It's how you're interpreting it. It but doesn't you, have you to be literal. It doesn't have well, to. Be I taken ask a question, way. brother. I ask a question. If I living in level thirty, and you mm -hmm. are living in level one, which mm -hmm. one is closer to Allah? <laughs> to me? Yeah. For me, according to Salafi, if you if you were Salafi, I'm not a Salafi. I can't tell you. According to Salafi, Salafi, peace. You are not Salafi. Cool. I'm not Salafi. This question to the Salafi. But let's go back to my talk, my question. If uh, brother God logic, let me uh, remind my question. My question is: When Allah placed His foot in a hell fire, His foot from jinn or a human because the promise allah promising in surah to sajda verse 30 13 he said he will fill up the hellfire from jinn and the human but the hellfire never fill up till allah places his foot in it <laughs> now let so me, when let i know ahmed let me explain repeat what you said okay mm. what did you say he's saying the quran says allah will fill hell with jinn and human but then he says that Allah will put his foot on it and it will be full. So what's filling hell? Jinn, human, or Allah's foot? See, this is what he's asking, guys. He's throwing a contradiction. Now, can you answer him, Ibn Michael? You want my understanding of it? Is that what you're asking? He's well, asking, he when question. Allah puts his foot in hell, Allah says mm -hmm. that he will fill hell with jinn and humankind. Correct. But it's his foot enters hell. So he's asking, mm -hmm. is, his, is his foot of jinn? What happens or first? Mind? What happens first? 
Uh, well, the Hadith says that hell says, mm -hmm. is there more? Is there more? Then Allah puts his foot and says, enough. So what do you mean what happened first? Hell is not filled. It still wants more. But Allah then puts mm -hmm. his foot and seals it. So he's asking you, what filled right, hell? So, so the jinn and human were thrown into hell. And then Allah put his foot into hell, right? Is that what you're Because saying? they never, the hellfire didn't fill mm -hmm. up, according to Sahih Muslim. The hellfire mm -hmm. didn't fill up up till Allah placed his foot in it. So mm -hmm. Allah promised the hellfire. He promised to fill up hellfire from jinn and the human. But mm -hmm. in the day of judgment, the hellfire never fill up till Allah placed his foot in it. So my question is, Allah foot from jinn or a human because he promised to fill it up from jinn and the human. So, like, my, the way I understand this, right, is that it will not be filled until God decrees that it is full and that decree that it is full is the metaphorical him placing his foot over Nothing it to stop any from. That's what it, I mean, how do you not? Okay, we are, literal, you are, you are, not, going, you are okay. not going to hellfire metaphorical. You're going physically, right? No, the... You are not going. You're not doing metaphorical, of course. Of there course. is nothing going right. to hellfire metaphorical or to Jannah doing dinky dinky with horal eye metaphorical. Is a so physically understood. Let me explain it again. So the human and the jinn will fill hell, right? And it won't be considered. No, no, it's not filling hell until it's not. The hadith said not. What does it say? And then what never fill up till Allah placed his full uh, his foot in it. Let me share the hadith with you. Right. From and it, it won't be considered full okay. until so God places it. his foot over it. Let right? me give you the hadith, brother, for you understand what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'll let listen to you. I'm a good listener. Pretty good listener. Hatta yada rabbul izzati qadamahu fiha. This is from Sahih Muslim, my brother, mm -hmm. or Sahih Al Bukhari, if you like, no problem. But this is the hadith. Mm -hmm. And let me share. And I want you to read it and explain it to me. Wow, you just did. Yeah. It's ready. Why go over you it again? Zoom on? Let me zoom on. Yeah, I need to zoom a bit. This is Sahih Muslim. 284, uh, 2846D. Mm -hmm. Hamad, go ahead, brother, read it. The paradise and the hell fell into dispute, and the hell said, one have been distinguished for accommodating the haughty and proud in me. And the paradise said, what is the matter that the meek and the humble and the downtrodden and simple would find an abode in me? Thereupon Allah said to paradise, you are a means of my mercy. One shall show mercy through you to one whom I will from amongst my servants. And lie said to the hell, you are a sign of my chastisement, And I shall chastise through you anyone whom I will from amongst my servants and both of you will be full. And as regards the hell, it would not be full until Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted and glorious, placed his foot therein, and it would say, enough, enough, enough. And it would be then full, and the one part would draw very close to the other one, and Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, would not treat unjustly anyone amongst his creation. And he would create another creation for the paradise to accommodate it. Okay. It sounds like exactly Masha what I explained. So, mashallah, I want to know now. Here, the hellfire will never fill up till Allah placed his foot in it, right? Yes, till. But the till promise he says in it's chapter. Full. Till he says it's full. No. Till it he placed his foot in it. Full. And what does Allah that place it look here. Look what here, does brother. that action mean? What does that action mean? What does yeah, that mean? Here, Why brother. is he doing that? The exalted. Why would he be placing his foot on it? What does that look mean? Here, brother. How do you understand that? His foot therein. 
and it will say enough, enough. So, which means not with right. mercy, what does that actually with mean? his food, not with mercy, right? The hellfire mm -hmm. never fill up with Allah mercy, with Allah mm -hmm. food. So I wanna, I'm wondering to know, because in Quran chapter, let me bring the verse, chapter 32. Huh? Let me switch this. Quran X. Oh, sorry, this is Arabic. Let me, uh huh, bring this. I will share. Okay, uh, the screen also. Chapter 32. Surah Al-Sajda, verse 13. Look the promise here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, brother, I'm taking your time. Yeah. No, Dude, go ahead. Take your time. This is 32. I mean, I, I would really like to get back to the exegesis yeah. topic at some point. In but... Arabic. Cool. All right. In Arabic, said, وَلَوْ شِئْنَا لَآتَيْنَا كُلُّ نَفْسٍ هُدَاهَا وَلَكِنْ حق القول مني لأملأن جهنم لأملأن جهنم من الجنة والناس أجمعين. Let's go to which translation you like. Let's go to Sahih International. And if we had willed, we could have given every soul it is guidance. But the word from me, here Allah speaking, will come into effect that I will surely what? Surely what, the brother? Fill hell with jinn and people altogether. So Allah, when He promised anything, He will finish, uh, do yeah, it he will or fill. not. Yeah. So well, I mean, I don't fire. understand how you think this is a contradiction. Are you are you taking the no, word? No, it's not fill contradiction, here? brother. Just second. okay. Just a second, for you understand. Okay. Here, Allah promised to yeah. help, uh, to fill up the hellfire with the jinn and the human together, right? Okay. Is anybody else going and in Sahih there? Sahih Muslim and Sahih Al Bukhari. We just see it, the the hadith, and we read it together. And you read it for me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They said the hellfire didn't fill up till Allah placed His foot in it. My right, question which would mean is, that He surely filled it. My, he, Doesn't that make with his food with his food uh, right right What's so the, the question is Allah food here is it from jinn or a human because the promise he filled it up from jinn and the human not from his food interesting argument interesting. got it god bless you god logic uh, <laughs> did you understand the argument no this before you go to understand this argument I do, and it's uh, okay. It's it's not that good. I'm be honest. It's it's really oh, not. Come on. But okay, got it. All right. All right. Ahmed, reach out to me so I bring you on my channel. Says so I need you to. Yeah, put no problem, my brother. God bless you. And before before you go, you. Ahmed. Um, so I'm I plan on doing an ex-Muslim stream, inviting ex-Muslims to come up and give their testimony, give their stories, and how they left Islam, what happened, you know, whatever. I would love if you if you join, I'll let you know if you're open to it, okay? No problem, my brother. That would be my... I'll, Definitely, I'm that. ready. God For bless sure. you. For sure, yes. Yeah. I want to bring you on so you cure me of insomnia, brother. I love you. Yeah, God bless you, my brother, Sam, and my brother, Jay. Nice to meet you. My brother, Muslims, God bless you all, and come to Christ. He is only one true living God. Don't waste your time, brother Muslim, because you will be in a hellfire with Allah. You see it. Allah going to hellfire physically, not metaphorical, because the kafirin going physically to hellfire. God bless you all. Jesus is God, and peace of Christ be with you. God Thank bless. you. God bless. God bless. What happened to Jay? Jay left? God bless. God bless you. Something disconnected. He should be back. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. So now, Whew. I guess Michael want to ask questions, I guess. Uh, can you get to the objection about Christianity? Yeah, of course. So my uh, the objection that I have about Christianity uh, allow me to you know put it together as best as oh, I can. Oh, what's up? How's so it going? I would say I would say that the modern contemporary um, doctrine and how it is believed and how it is taught is not the original doctrine of Christianity or what was thought. Well, was I was believed, you know, I mean, um, 
What was the original? There's a couple of different beliefs. Give me there the is no one original. I mean, but you can go back to, let's say, uh, um, monotheism being the number one principle you heard of that Ignatius? was prevailing. No, I'm going to, because I'm going to show you, you don't know what you're talking about. Have you heard of Ignatius? I mean, you can look at like origin, you know. Okay. Go ahead. Have you go heard ahead. of Ignatius? Explain it. Explain it. Oh, I have a question, so sure, go ahead. I'm answering you. If you let me answer, I don't answer according to you. You don't even know what origin believed. I know what origin believed. Really? Okay. Origin go ahead. Taught, tell me what origin taught about Father, Son, Holy Spirit. No, go ahead. No, no, you told me because you mentioned you can't origin. answer a question with a question. Come on, yes, man. you can. The Quran does it and the Bible does you can, it. You can clarify. For everybody or just one on one. Do you, want, do you want to answer my question or should we move on and go to the other two? Because you're not you're playing games. Yeah, let's move on. What did origin on. teach about Father, Son, Holy Spirit? Let's get, to your, let's get to your answer. What did the origin teach about Father, Son, Holy Spirit? I don't know. Let's get to your answer. Okay. So don't mention origin if you don't know about them. Mm -hmm. Okay. What mm -hmm. do you know about Ignatius? No, teach me about him. Okay, because you said original. Ignatius was a disciple of the apostles, such as John. He was the mm -hmm. bishop of Antioch, Syria. On his mm -hmm. way to being martyred, being killed, voluntarily mm -hmm. being fed to the beasts, he left seven letters. I'm going to show you what he said about... What John are you talking about? Let me ask you a clarifying question. Which John are you talking about? Let's try this again. John the Apostle. Which, which John? Okay. Hey, brother. Let's go to the next...